My question is to you today, who are you? Who are you today? And how do I know who you are? And how do you know who you are? Are you walking out who you're supposed to be? And who are you supposed to be? I believe each one of us here today know what to do in the world. We understand what it means to thrive in this world. We know that we got to dress like they do. We know that we got to talk like they do. We know that we got to act like they do and go to the parties that they do. We got to drink like they do. We got to smoke like they do. We know how to do it very well, but deep inside we're not satisfied because that's not who we were called to be. We were not called to be weed smokers. We were not called to be uh, drinkers. We were not called to be cocaine addicts. We were not called to be prostitutes. We were not called to be womanizers and adulterers and, and, and all of the bad stuff. But that's what we're good at. And that's what we always default to in the end of the day. You see, Christ sees the big picture but we see in part. And that's why every day we walk, we do stupid things. We don't show up to church thinking we can do it on our own, but then a year later, we find ourselves deep into some sin, and then we realize how much we need the church. We end up running and to and fro and doing great and mighty things for God, but we forget prayer. We forget staying in the Word. We forget that it depends upon connecting with the vine. And we fall down on our face because we don't know who we are. We don't know how to connect into who we are. We don't even know Jesus fully. Sometimes when I pray, I say, Lord, I want to know you because I know if I get to know God, I can also know myself because I don't know myself fully. I used to think that I wouldn't make certain mistakes, but then as time went on and as temptations came, I fell into the same thing that I thought I was overcoming. I didn't know who I was and why was it that I did what I did? Why was it that I went where I went? Why was it where I touched what I touched? Why was it that I looked at what I looked at? It's because I didn't understand my identity. I didn't know. And that's why most of us live in sin. We don't know what we have in Jesus. We don't know what we could have in Jesus. We don't know what the kingdom of God has in store. The Bible actually says, eye has not seen or ear has not heard what God has in store for us. I'm here to tell you today that God's goodness is amazing. God has all authority in heaven and on earth. That means every single thing is in his hands, in his fingertips. God defies the laws of gravity. He can turn things around in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. God can change your circumstances. He can heal your marriage. He can heal your disease. Jesus can do it.